control and then you'll die. <laughs> This is the Blitz Tanto, a mini pocket knife by Bomber and Company. This is the bigger, beefier, straight edge edition of Bomber's line of fully concealable pocket knives. Inspired by the infamous B2 Stealth Bomber, one of the most innovative warplanes in history, the Blitz is engineered to the standards of military grade equipment. At only 3.7 inches in length, the Blitz is constructed with 440 carbon black stainless steel. This stocky, compact knife is a tiny monster, small enough to carry in a coin pocket, but sturdy enough to take on any task you might throw at it. And like every knife in the company's B2 collection, the Blitz Straight Edge comes with a full lifetime warranty and is engineered to withstand years and years of heavy use. This is the keynote from Gerber. No knife can do it all, but this one comes close. Deployment of the dual-use blade is initiated with a starter tab and finished with your thumb or a nail nick. The blade is stout, giving you both a scraping and a cutting edge. And you get all that in a compact format you can wear on a belt, in a pocket, or on a keychain. It's available in two colors. Out on the town or around the house, the Keynote can multitask like no other. The Provoke was designed for emergency service personnel from the beginning. I noticed that they were carrying karambits of various types, and I asked them what they liked about the karambits, and more importantly, what they didn't like about the karambits that they were deploying in duty. The primary problems included the issue of deployment, especially with the blade closed, how to deploy from a retention position, uh, and also questions about safety. The blade is designed to be deployed from a clenched fist. Your fingers are never exposed to the rotational path of a blade. It comes equipped with a glass breaker and a sheath that is suitable for attachment to molly or belt for emergency situations. The Kershaw Cinder Copper, model 1025CU, a Rick Henderer design. The Cinder is one of the smallest knives in our catalog. The knife opens manually with a thumb stud. This version features copper scales with a machined texture. The backspacer includes a lanyard hole, bottle opener, and has a stonewash finish. The blade is made of 3CR13 steel with a stonewash finish. To keep the blade securely open, it utilizes a liner lock. Each copper cinder will be slightly unique as the copper scales patina over time. In addition, the added weight from the scales provides a solid feel while in hand. Buck Knives is known for quality, American-made quality. Keeping up with this tradition is the 840 Sprint Select. Made with an ergonomically textured nylon handle and a 420HC stainless steel blade, this knife exudes a cool that you'll want to carry with you every day. Utilizing ball bearing flipper technology, the action is fast and smooth as butter and locks securely with a liner lock. Added features like a contrasting color spacer and a removable deep carry pocket clip make this knife a true conversation starter. Just be careful not to loan it to a buddy, or you might not ever get it back. The 840 Sprint Select is available in three color combinations to suit your personal style. All of green with a yellow spacer, gray with blue spacer, and black with a red spacer. At only 3.2 ounces, it's so light you might just forget that it's in your pocket. Made in Post Falls, Idaho, guaranteed forever, the Buck Knives 840 Sprint Select. Today I'd like to talk about our Grick. It's a great everyday carry knife at a really reasonable price. It's got a hollow thumb ramp opener, so it's pretty easy to open, a spear point blade, and the blade's made out of Japanese AUSAA steel that's cryo quenched. It's not a Chinese steel, it actually comes from Japan. It's got this finger cut out in it so that you can really direct the edge in tight spaces or when you want to do some real fine cutting and that's a big advantage, or you can put your thumb in there as well. It's got 
a glass reinforced nylon handle that's got a stippled finish on the clip and up here at the bolster and it's designed so all four fingers fit on that handle for such a small lightweight knife it only weighs three ounces so for a small lightweight knife you can get all four fingers in there and when you add that pinky finger you increase your grip strength by about 15 to 20 percent so that's really important on this knife you can get all four fingers on it also you can carve if you were going to carve or whittle something you can do that right here you can get the edge very close to what you're working on for maximum leverage and that's another thing i really like about this knife is the edge comes right down to almost where your index finger is so if i'm going to be shaving something or carving something or whittling something i can get the edge really close and get maximum leverage to cut with so we've studied the fact that if you can't get a good purchase with your pinky finger you lose about 15 to 20 percent of your gripping power this is an enormously important finger in your grip and so when you can get that on a knife you've added a lot to your grip strength the ex one is a precision built folding knife finely crafted in the usa by hogue incorporated for optimal performance and reliability the methodical design pairs an elegant exterior and high-end materials with an overbuilt frame that supports a fierce cutting edge it has been designed through experience by former Marine Recon and renowned custom knife maker Alan Aleshwitz. The .150 inch thick blade is made from 154cm stainless that is cryogenically heat treated to a hardness between 57 and 59 Rockwell for a lasting edge that is still easy to maintain. Each knife is hand sharpened and honed to a mirror finish for exceptional cutting performance. It comes in either a drop point or tanto profile with a high flat grind. A 3.5 or larger 4 inch blade length is available with a well wearing stonewash finish. The ergonomic handle of the EX01 is available in two materials, G10 and aluminum. G10 versions come in solid black G10 with a tread pattern, with three variations of our patented G10 Jamascus composite with a piranha grip texture. 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum models have a mil spec hard type 3 ended eye surface in black or OD green with a fluted texture. The handle materials are extremely tough and nearly impervious to chemical or moisture damage. For quick one handed deployment, the X01 uses ambidextrous thumb studs. Once open, the blade is held in place by a strong button lock. Supported by a quarter inch pivot and an oversized stop pin, the mechanism offers outstanding reliability and a solid lockup. A finger groove and strategically placed jimping around the knife's edges ensure a dependable grip. For added security, there is a manual safety that can be engaged to prevent accidental closure when the knife is open and in use. For convenient carry and quick access, there is a tip up or down pocket clip and a hidden lanyard pin. Overall lengths range from 8 to 8.875 inches with weights of 4.6 to 5.6 ounces. Select X01 designs are also available as automatics. The 0022, a Tim Galleon design. At 4.75 inches in overall length, the 0022 is ZT's smallest model in production. It operates on KVT ball bearings with a flipper tab. The 0022 features a carbon fiber front handle, stonewashed titanium back handle, and blue anodized titanium tube spacer. The 1.8 inch blade is made of ultra premium CPM 20 CV steel with a stonewashed finish. The pocket clip is a reversible tip up carry. To keep the blade securely open, it uses a titanium frame lock with hardened steel lock bar insert. The smallest knife in the ZT lineup is aptly named after one of the smallest firearm calibers, the 22. For uniformed heroes around the world, Heckler and & Koch and & Hogue are two such names. The HK series of knives are designed and built by Hogue from the finest materials and under the strictest standards of manufacturing. American made, these knives offer uncompromised reliability whether you wear a uniform or work the grind. They are built to last. The Patata was a modern interpretation of the traditional Rosolza, the signature folding knife of the city of Patata, Sardinia. 
The all-new Pot de Dece takes that stunning design and scales it down by over 15% to make it even handier and more pocket friendly. A proud member of Spyderco's Ethnic series, the Pot de Dece's iconic blade shape is faithfully expressed in M390 stainless steel. The full flat ground plain edge blade is housed in a gracefully curved handle built with full stainless steel liners and beautifully contoured G10 scales. A sturdy liner lock mechanism ensures that the blade locks securely open when in use, and a deep pocket wire clip keeps the pot de dece poised for instant access by providing a choice of left or right side tip-up carry.